All right here, pacifist mode. In pacifist mode, which we're, is not on, we just have it off, we're just playing regularly. In pacifist mode, you can't hurt other players and are choosing not to participate in PvP. Hey, how about that? Other players can still murder you. What? <laughs> what, Bethesda? So, I don't really follow that one. I really don't follow that. I can um, not attack players by simply not attacking them. So what What's up, guys? Dark Dally here, playing the Fallout 76 beta, and today I want to uh, look a little bit into settlement building um, at your camp and things like that. Things you can do building your camp. I've built up a decent little a little thing here, and I want to talk some about how this differs from building in Fallout 4, what you can do with it, and we're also going to try some new things that I haven't tried yet. Now I've started kind of fortifying this. I've built this kind of out in the middle of nowhere, just up here in the in the woods. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a little you know, cabin in the woods, you know. Now you know that uh, when you pull up your pit boy. Um, at least on PC, you can press Z to uh, move your camp, and you can place it anywhere. And when you do, all this stuff should be stored. We're going to test that out here in a minute. Yeah, I can access my camp here. I can hit transfer, and I can see all the stuff that I currently have in my camp. Now, your camp has a 400 weight limit, which is kind of restricting. A lot of people have complained about that. Uh, we'll see how that comes along when the game's actually released. One way to get around that is by building. You know, once you get this filled up, and this is, by the way, the same storage that you'll have with your stash box. Like, I have a stash box in here in my house. Um, they share the same storage. Um, they're only going to go... Oops. If I go uh, go here, you can see weight limit 400, and it's now full. So, supplement that by building, uh, which uses those materials, and then empties that out. and gives you more room to store some stuff. Still, it's really not much. So here's some of the stuff you can build in the build mode. The way the build mode works, let's go ahead and have a look at the build mode. We got menus on the top and the side of the screen. Now on PC, you can press Z and C to move back and forth between the different categories. There's lots of categories. And you can use the arrow keys to move up and down through this bar here. And some of these have multiple options like this one. Here, let's go to a, let's go to a better one. Let's go to uh, doors. And you can see right here I have... Uh, this door selected, and I can choose various different ones by scrolling through them. A lot of this stuff is locked because you have to get the recipes in order to build the stuff. Now, there's a couple different things you can do. One thing you can do is you can save um, you can save blueprints. So, like if you build a little structure, you can then save it as blueprints. So, I could save this whole thing as a blueprint. Now, I don't think it does, but a lot of people thinks that that does. Uh, when you set your camp back up, you can use blueprints to rebuild what you had. But the thing is, it's gonna take materials to do it and that was one thing I'm kind of unclear on let's go ahead and look at that a little bit it's something I'll look at later because I don't want to waste all the materials it would take to build another one of these if it's going to use up the materials if you follow my thinking on that let's go over down to blueprints I do have one blueprint saved it's a basic little hide thing that I built oh here we go this is simple I, I simply built this at my first original camp now we can just do that, and it, it builds it. I built this in my first camp, and then if you want to turn it into a blueprint, what you can do is you can hold E, all right, and then you can uh, hit Z for select structure, and then, um, yeah, I can hit R to create a blueprint. C, grow selection, I assume that's going to mean... I'm not real sure what that is. There's some stuff that we're still trying to figure out here. So I, I can build that and I can probably, I can stamp those. Every, I could, you know, I, I now have a structure that I could kind of stamp around my perimeter if I wanted. Now here I've started building a perimeter wall. One great thing about these walls, of course I ran out of concrete. One great thing about these walls is they will snap at different angles and different heights to allow you to traverse different terrain. Finally, unlike Fallout 4, we have a way to create a, a good perimeter wall that flows with the terrain and snaps together. So that's pretty cool. Now let's try something that I've previously kind of been afraid to try. And that's, let's go ahead and pick this whole thing up and let's just see what happens when we move it. So let's, let's escape out of there and let's go try to move this to a new location and see what happens. We may have to rebuild the whole thing. Oh, here we go. We can build it right here. So let's build our camp here It moved my camp. So I no longer have anything over there. It took everything and put it away. But it should all be in storage. Yeah, I'm getting some weird, crazy frame drops. Probably has something to do with that server message I got there a minute ago. Wow, this is really inconvenient. This, the beta has been running great all day. 
and now we're getting these crazy frame drops again. All right, well, we're gonna work through this. We just got a little bit more to do. Let's see, let's go into build mode and we should be able to, okay, so we can build this. What I wanna see is, because I ran out of concrete, so I have no more concrete to build that those perimeter walls that I had. So let's go see if it should have stored those. Let's hope that it stored those. All right, so when you get attacked, and that's annoying too, it keeps putting me in third person every time. I'm hoping that they, they, they get some stuff to fix here, guys. They get some stuff to fix. Um, creatures can break through your walls and stuff. I assume that brick and concrete and metal and et cetera would be harder, you know, than wood. So it's kind of like arc in that sense that enemies can break through your walls. I was attacked many times by ghouls and rad scorpions over where I was. That's why I'm kind of not liking this open thing I have here. I was attacked several times by rad scorpions and they broke through my walls a few times, but I never had them actually come into the house. It might be because my foundation was raised. I really can't say for sure. So that's kind of, Oh, guys, I was hoping that uh, we'd be able to set back up what we had. Let's go back to build mode. Oops, wrong button. And let's have a look. There's got to be something we're missing. Here's uh, recent stuff that we built. Stored. Um, oh, wait, he wait. See, I, I thought I might be missing something. No, this is literally stuff that I've manually stored. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, see, I was I was just missing something. I was missing something. Okay, so we can replace our big building that we had. It automatically stored this as a blueprint. And, and here's my perimeter wall that I had. Okay, this is great. Uh, the first thing we're going to have to do, let's go ahead and scrap all this stuff. Actually, we'll just store this stuff. And uh, store... What? But I can't, yeah, yeah, this build mode is pretty picky. See, it wouldn't let me store that because there was a wall there. Yeah, build mode is a little different here. A little picky. I got to store the door first, then I can do the frame. Now I can do this. Okay, I'm really glad that I was just missing something there. Wow, we got like a little ghost of the floor. Yeah, glitches abound. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. I can't even see. Uh, one thing with this game, you can step out of the build. Oh, there we go. You can step out of the build area and build, which is cool. Now, will I be able to place this exactly? This might be hard because this was contoured with the terrain where I had it. Um, so, obviously, again, they do have some kinks to iron out. Let's go ahead and let's rebuild this guy. We should be able to place this somewhere. There we go. We were able to place it. It didn't cost us anything else. It just used what we already had. Let's go ahead and hop out of build mode and hop out of third person. Bethesda, please fix that. That is super duper annoying. Ah, oh, wow. That's annoying. All right. Um, I guess you, you could enter build mode by clicking on this instead of using the third person. But in Fallout 4, that never put you in third person. My door is no longer locked. Now that's... That's unfortunate. Okay, so there's a bug right there that they need to fix that. This did have a level three lock on it and no longer has that. So my door is now accessible, I assume, to anyone. So other than that, it looks like it's placed everything back where it goes. Okay, so that's good to know. I have some extra walls up here that don't do anything. The reason is once I first saw the enemies could attack my walls, I ran up my stairs up here and those are buffers so that I could shoot the enemies before they could break through the walls and get to me now. So, okay, this is one thing I'm seeing. They do definitely need to fix. It took the lock off my door. That's no bueno. But you can see even my bookcase I, uh, that's right there, it saved. I didn't have to store this as a blueprint or anything. It just went ahead and saved it. So what's the difference between just moving your camp and uh, physically saving something as a blueprint? I would guess if I wanted to stamp this somewhere else in my, um, well, let's find out. Thing, I would, I would want to have it. Let's see. Um, so for some reason I have this stored twice. Yeah. See, if I wanted to place this somewhere else, I'd have to physically make it a blueprint. It looks like, or wait, so this is stored. Let's go to blueprints. This is the only blueprint I have saved and this is stuff I've stored. Okay. Um, all right. So basically, uh, when you move your camp, it's going to store that. And this is stuff that's, that's already here accessible that I can use. 
blueprints are if I wanted to stamp a couple of those, you know, carbon copies of those buildings. And then of course it would use the materials to build and it wouldn't just put it up like it did just now for free. All right. So we've seen a few things here with the build mode. This is basically how it's going to work. Of course you can fast travel to your camp. You have a nice safe little place. I have some turrets up here. I've only been attacked so far by melee creatures such as ghouls and uh, rad scorpions. I've not yet been attacked by players. In fact, if I pull up my, uh, oops, let's get out of here. If I pull up my map, Oh my God, that's the first time I've even seen a player in this area. Huh. I was just going to say, uh, there's no players up here. There hasn't been. And now, of course, this would come at a time when I don't have a door lock. Let's see. Maybe it maybe it just uh, stored it for me because I had a door lock. It was set to level three. Um... Let's see here. I mean, you know, maybe I put like the wrong door on there or something. It's really unfortunate, especially as another player is approaching. I'd like to be able to lock my door. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. Remove lock. It had a level three lock. All right. Well, now it doesn't. So that's basically how this is going to work, guys. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, geez. That's annoying. Quit putting me in third person. Is that person coming to my uh, place? No, they're just kind of kicking it there, doing whatever they're doing, it looks like. We'll leave them be going here. So, guys, that's kind of like a, a little look here. I'm, that was me figuring this out kind of as I go as well, trying to figure out how this goes. Now, could that player attack my building and destroy my walls? Probably so. You cannot. I've tried, and you, it's, from what I've seen, you cannot damage your own walls. You can shoot them as much as you want. You won't damage them. While we're talking about kind of a PvP thing, let me uh, look down here. This is a really odd setting. Is it under social? No. Um, whoops. That's my bad. Let's go back to this. It must be under settings then. And we're going to look at game. All right here, pacifist mode. In pacifist mode, which we're, is not on. We just have it off. We're just playing regularly. In pacifist mode, you can't hurt other players and are choosing not to participate in PvP. Hey, how about that? Other players can still murder you. What? <laughs> what, Bethesda? So, uh, I don't really follow that one. <laughs> I really don't follow that. I can um, not attack players by simply not attacking them. So, what does this option even do? I can choose not to participate without the help of an option <laughs> and still be murdered. All right, so we'll figure that one out later. Uh, some of this stuff is going to be hopefully just beta issues uh we couldn't restore the lock on our door tell me what you guys think and uh, uh the settlement building and stuff I, i'm not sure how many people have really spent much time experimenting with this as the beta has only been open for a few hours a day and people have probably found other things to do than build well another look at this uh there's some more beta time coming up tomorrow uh i'm gonna build some more experiment some more definitely get a lock back on my door and maybe we'll have more information on how some of this stuff works tomorrow guys thank you so much for watching tell me what you think of the settlement building system in fallout 76 it's kind of cool it really is to have your own little kind of prepper cabin that just out in the middle of nowhere where you couldn't come well, i think so come and be alone and and fortify uh, wherever you want on the map, you know, I just kind of chose that here in the woods. You can have it anywhere. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Guys, it's been a real pleasure. I'm Dark Dally. We'll catch you guys next time.